All right, let's see. 16 pounds, 13 ounces. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're in pretty much the same spot, but across the way. That's our swim from day before yesterday. We're gonna set up here, a little bit more room to cast the 12 foot rods. We've got the Euro style gear with us. So we're gonna get set up and start fishing. Okay, Forrest is getting hungry, but we're gonna do a quick video. Okay, ready? Yeah. I was replacing the battery in the GoPro when Leslie's rod got a run. She was busy feeding the kid. Oh crap, it's upside down. So I'm fighting it. Fish ran all the way across into the reeds on the opposite side of the lake. And I thought for sure we were gonna lose it, but we've got it coming our way. It's definitely the biggest one so far. It's a common. And it was angry. There are invasive species of carp, but these are common carp, and they were actually stocked in the United States in the 1800s. Whoa, it's slimy. Whoa. It's really slimy. Yeah, it's really slimy. Okay. Thank you. It's a runner. Top, does it show a tie, like a counter? Percento, so. I don't think we're gonna land it in time. Let's give it one more good go, dude. Oh, you got it. Thanks, honey. It was just video. That's okay.
All right. We're done. Everything's cleaned up. Bigger fish. We didn't blow it up, but still biggest pretty is, good. Biggest probably 18 pounds or so. <laughs> <laughs> I did catch one decent sized fish on the little tiny rod, which was crazy. It, it was a shit show. I would have sworn it was a 50. <laughs> Actually, for that matter, the ones I caught on my carp rod, I would have thought were 50s too because <laughs> they were fighting pretty good. We're a little out of practice and they're yeah. fired up because it's like right at the spawn. So anyway. Forrest had a great time. He was an excellent napper today. I think he took at least three small naps. It's very out of character. Yeah. All right, we're going to walk back. Is somebody excited to go fishing? Yeah. We're carp fishing Euro style. Pretty basic for the most part. Leslie's fishing method feeders with plastic corn in a, a margin area. Just hand throwing out corn. And I'm boily fishing. I've been using a throwing stick to bait boilies off and on for a week over here or something. Just sticking around and hoping that we can pick up a PB mirror for Leslie. There's only, it's only like 5% or something like that in here, but if we catch enough, we should get one besides the little baby one that you already caught. A medium. Um, that or you take care of the fish. Oh, thank you, buddy. Yeah, you helped him out the fish. Okay. Forrest gets the only chair that we brought, of course. But he shares it with us sometimes. We brought his pack and play, which is perfect. It took us until the second trip out here to realize that one of his fitted sheets fits over this perfectly. And that's where he naps. We got this little fan from Walmart. It has three speeds, but it's rechargeable. Runs for up to five hours. And it can sit up in there. So when the wind isn't blowing and it's hot, then Forrest can stay nice and cool in the shade. swivel on yeah so you tie the swivel on over here and then you tie the other line onto the swivel um, you want to use whatever your normal fishing knot is so do you know any of those okay so is that you This is empty too. Twenty three ten. <sighs> <laughs> That's maybe like 10 pounds. It's definitely bigger than that. Oh! 
This is a lot bigger than you said it was. It totally makes sense that we just got a bite because this wind is stirring up the bottom over here up against the bank on this side. <laughs> it's pretty big, honey. It's a nice one. <laughs> the turtles have moved in. You gotta watch that rod over there. All right, we're packing up. This was our third day at this spot, and it was a giant cluster. We caught several little tiny carp. It's Friday, so it's busy. There's a bunch of people here. And, oh, Mike's getting a fish. It was the last rod still in the water. It's a catfish. And it's another catfish. So that pretty much summed up what our day looked like. A bunch of disappointing catfish. We're definitely gonna avoid this place for the next couple of days because it's the weekend and we know it's just gonna be a madhouse. But probably next week we'll we'll come back out, whether it's a spot or another spot. It's May 14th, we're back at Lynx. Um, we're in a little bit of a different spot today, but Mike baited here yesterday, so we're hoping to catch some fish. He's looking the wrong way. Um, especially a mirror. We got forest. Les Leslie needs a PB mirror. That's all we're worried about. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? He was napping in the car seat pretty good, so I think he's still waking up. We probably had the biggest parent fail to date, but <laughs> we don't have to go into details on that. All right, let's get fishing. <laughs> okay. It's on the, on the surface out there. You can see it towards the bank with the sketchy. I don't know how... It looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for the new net to come in. Holy crap. It looks Not pretty have to big. deal with this broken Frankenstein net anymore. Oops. Okay, well, it's out and going wherever it wants now. so frustrated that this fish comes off. Is that something different? I, I think so. Oh my god. Well, I just turned the camera off because as Mike was reeling in the fish, um, we got another run on his rod. So I landed that one, they're both in the net, and one of them's a mirror. Mine's a ghosty, hers is a mirror, and they're both, they're both awesome fish. The mirror looks pretty big. It's pretty good. Wow. So this is a common carp, but it's actually also a genetic abnormality because it's got some koi genetics and that's why its coloration is different. You might not really be able to tell because you don't see them all the time uh -huh. but it's got some koi genes in it like somebody re released their pet koi in here at some point uh -huh. and uh, it got some of those genetics wow. so it's it's a unique color pattern. I've had one other out of here that was like that. Uh -huh. um, when you uh, let them stay in the water like that they uh -huh. recuperate their strength that they lost from the fight. So they're a little ornery. <laughs> and even the fins are colored. Is 
mirror carp. Mirror carp. Yep. Yeah. So they're actually the same species, but it's just like genetic variations. It just doesn't have a lot of scales. Yeah. Yeah, and we can send you our pictures too if that'll help. Yeah. Okay, sure. Okay. Whoa. Don't drop him. Okay. On the head. There you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, you're going to take a picture with the camera. So you can get your face in there. Forrest is mad. Yeah. <laughs> Through all our fishing uh, at this lake, we keep talking about getting Leslie a personal best mirror carp. And that came from the fact that last June, I fished this lake one time with some of my friends and I ended up catching a, a 19 pound and, and some change uh, mirror carp. Really cool fish. Um, kind of a big surprise. <laughs> surprise. So Leslie caught that little baby mirror and that kind of confirmed what we knew about the, the mirror population in there. Uh, but we kept catching fish and we hadn't had another mirror until Leslie caught that one. And I knew it looked similar to the fish that I had caught, but I, I didn't remember exactly what the scale pattern was. I, I just assumed that all the mirrors in this lake had that kind of similar genetics, that build and kind of the, the sparse uh, scale pattern, a little bit of a linear type of a, a look. So I went back and looked at pictures of the other fish, and yeah, it's for sure the same fish that I caught uh, 11 months ago in June. This is in May. The scales are exactly the same, so it's easy to see. <laughs> yeah, no, no question, it's, it's yeah. for sure the same fish. We're not talking about a pond. This is a 55 acre reservoir that has to have, I mean, the, the number of carp has to be in the thousands. Not only that, but where I caught it last June was on the complete opposite end of the lake. Different tactics, different type of rig, which is crazy. I mean, I'm sure there's other mirrors of similar size in there, but that's the only mirror that I've personally seen or any of my friends have seen out of there that was in, of any decent size so mm -hmm. pretty weird um, I told Leslie that she needed to give it a proper name the last time that I caught her I didn't do that so I named her Gypsy for a couple of reasons it's a girl fish Mike says so Gypsy is a girl name and then also because we caught her on the opposite side of the lake as we said before than where she was caught previously um, gypsies are wanderers we are now wanderers. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of an ode to our new lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. So I thought it was a really cool name. So yeah, mission accomplished, like you said, but not in the way that we expected.